Hey folks, welcome to K6 Outdoors. I'm your host, co-host, and anchor. Does that mean I have a split personality? Anyway, we are going to be doing a project over here on the trees I planted. You can see here the idea, we're gonna be putting fencing around these trees to protect them from rabbit damage. I am actively on a rabbit relocation program. relocation program. Those little buggers, cute and cuddly, maybe not so much cuddly, but when we get snow on the ground, they enjoy these arborvitae trees as a snack. Can't say I blame them when we get snow drifts out here that are a foot tall, or we get 10 inches of consistent snow on the ground, they have nothing to eat. So they turn to these trees. What we're going to do today is talk about how I protect them using this system. And I guess what I mean by system, I mean deterrent measure. Nothing will 100% keep them away, but what I'm trying to do is use some fencing to keep them from eating too much of the tree and killing them because these little guys are freshly planted this year. They're actually already growing pretty well. You know, they've got six inches of growth on them. Anyways, you can see here, we've got a couple of different uh, fencing materials. This black one I used last year on the front arborvitae, which we'll talk about more in a little bit. And this other stuff here, which is newer, but I'll drop you guys into the shop here so you can see how we're making these. For the actual fencing I'm using, or in this case, netting, it is a one inch mesh. So that's the size of opening. It's two foot tall and I bought a 150 foot roll. We're gonna be making about 15 of these cages for the trees to protect them. You don't have to do this, but if you have rabbits in your area and you guys do get snowfall, just gonna warn you, they do like evergreens quite a bit. They find them quite tasty. Um, anyways, this is, this is what we're using is this, is this uh, poultry knitting. As you guys can see on the ground here, I've got a one by four for my length and a one by four for my cut direction. That way I can use these uh, DeWalt trimmers that I have. They're little, I guess, bolt-ons for your impact, wherever you want to use. It works pretty well at cutting through these. If you want to be lazy like me, just right through it. If you guys don't want to use anything like that weird little DeWalt thingy-majigger, I understand it. Just get yourself a good pair of snips these Midwest, you know, aviation steps work well. Um, it is still just, you know, cut right through it. So you get the idea, pick one. This one's a little more, if you're doing a bunch of them, may make your hands tired. I'm not saying this doesn't have some work to it. It does have some weight to it. These work well, but if you've got hand problems and squeezing them like this, you know, I don't know, a few hundred times is gonna bother you. Just try something like this, but I'll have links to both of these down below in the description so you guys can check them out. I like these Midwest ones, they're high, high quality uh, set of snips made here in the USA. So we're just gonna roll this out to the length we need here. And I've been using this one by four as my length setting and I'll hold this down so I can set this down here, Oops. like so. We know we got the length we need and then I can adjust my length here with this bar to help hold the netting off the ground so I can cut it a little easier and go from there. So I can use this bar to help hold my length, whether it's straight or not. You could, you could argue that a guy needs to get it a little closer, help hold the netting down so I can cut it and then sets my length and this board helps hold it off the ground so I can take this cutter and just do one of these numbers, just work right across this. I'll put links to this stuff down in the uh, description below for Amazon. Just keep in mind that they are affiliate links and I get a little bit of commission off them. But it's a great way to support the channel. You know, I make something like three or 4% maybe, but it changes your buying experience zero. Now, again, these aren't, you know, they're not a one size fits all, but it's kind of handy to have around and it gets rid of any hand fatigue, if you know what I'm saying. So actually to put these together, I'm just using some cable ties, zip ties, 
this little four inch guys. You could use smaller ones, use baling twine, use whatever you want, wire, doesn't matter. I'm just doing this because I find it to be the easiest personally to do. And then you can just snip them off later or take them off and make them bigger. Just, just less work, I guess. Just my personal preference. And just like that, she's ready for use. All right. Take these new cages and we'll just flop them over top. And just like that, you got 24, seven, 365 day a year, rabbit protection. Down here, I, I am using some from last year. So if you want to use black, make it less noticeable. Maybe you guys can tell me a judge there. But these are what the other ones look like. If you are concerned about the moving, you can put a couple of landscape fabric staples, you know, the little U's on each side. I mean, worst case is it's just going to go side to side. It's not like it can blow over because the, the tree is supporting it. To give you an idea, these are a similar tree, different breed. These babies are 15 years old and I'm six foot tall. So you get the idea how tall they are compared to me. All of these trees used to look like these over here where they're nice and low to the ground but we have rabbits that hang around and you can see that they snip off the bottom of all of these and even chew on the bark thankfully these are old enough and mature enough trees they can make it you know again looking down here there's a lot of open space i mean it's not a huge deal but it cosmetically kind of I mean, doesn't look as good and for these trees specifically if they strip them down that far it's a very good likelihood that they could kill them so the idea is by putting these guards along the bottom, we'll keep it from eating the, uh, the base of it and killing it. Um, if the snow gets three foot tall, they're going to get up to the top if they can walk on it. But there's only so much you can do. I could buy six foot tall netting, but that seems like an awful lot of work. Um, and I did something similar last year over here. I'll show you. I don't know that, that we're, we don't generally get that much snow. If we do, it's short lived. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's, you only can do so much to prepare for it and just hope for the best, right? Now over here, I planted these trees last year and these are the ones that um, had that black fencing on them last year. They've grown a lot, so they don't fit. And the same three foot diameter just barely fits around these trees. Um, they're getting bigger and more mature, but I still want to protect them just in case because, you know, these are not a cheap investment, but these are the same breed. Their techie arborvita is all of those over there. So trying to get ourselves some nice privacy and um it looks i think it looks also looks nice too with this whole edging they're growing pretty well for only being a, a planted one full year on the property so we're going to make a few more for these but i'll do that off camera and uh save you guys the effort of watching me struggle so that's going to be the end of today's video thank you all for stopping in leave some thoughts down in the comments below if you have any maybe what things you've done in the past to keep rabbits away generally it's not a problem until we get a lot of snow and all this green stuff's covered up and they have nothing to eat. So I don't blame them. They're trying to trying to survive. But I don't want it to kill my trees because, well, they weren't free. Let's put it that way. And it takes a while for them to grow. Thanks for stopping in. If you guys aren't a part of the YouTube family, I would invite you to follow along, subscribe. It doesn't cost you guys a dime. If you guys like today's video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. That's fine. But let me know how I can improve this content to help you all out because the intent of this channel is for myself to learn this stuff the hard way so you guys don't have to. Go buy yourself a roll of some fencing or some netting and try it out yourself. I think you'll be surprised at how well it does work. Take care of one another. I'll catch you guys on the next video. We'll see ya. All right, more to get done today.